piracy. I want to talk about piracy. Some people try to argue that it, that piracy really, really, really hurts companies. And that it's the same thing as someone just walking into a store, grabbing something off the shelf and walking out of the store. And that it, it can't help companies in any way. As far as that goes, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of piracy is free advertising for those companies, for that product, I should say. There are some people who will never buy certain products. They will never buy this piece of software. They will never buy that software. That company will never see that person's money for that product, ever. So if that person gets a copy of that company's software, a copy, they're not stealing physical product, the company has lost nothing from the person's piracy. And if that person who pirated their software, who got a pirated copy of their software, recommends it to others, then those people may in turn actually go and buy the software. There's also the element where some people have pirated software, liked it enough that they go out and later buy that software legitimately. And there's another side to this, okay? I think it's kind of silly when, if someone has the money and there is a software title that's like 60 bucks or under. Heck, I'll even take it further, 80 bucks and under. And they can completely afford that software. And they know they're going to use that software. It seems kind of silly for them to pirate that software. That seems kind of fucked up. And I will agree with the people who say that's fucked up. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. If the software is pretty cheap and you can afford it, it seems pretty stupid to pirate it. And, you know, if, if, you, if it's something that you think you'll be using, productivity software, a game, whatever it is. But if there's some software title that's like 500 bucks, the company offers no sort of decent uh, demo of it, or if they offer a demo of it, it's like, like, if it's something that's creative software of some sort, and they have to put this big, huge fucking logo of, of oh, this was created with this, then yeah, I can see people uh, pirating the software. If the company's going to charge like $500 or more for some piece of software, they should expect people to pirate it. You know, when they're charging that much, and it's some sort of, especially if it's some industry standard, then the big companies will pay that money for that industry standard. Those companies are going to get that money from these companies. And those software companies are not going to get money from those that don't really have that much of a budget for a piece of software. Again, they are never going to see that money from a number of people, ever. So are they really losing money out of that? And if there's a piece of software that is just seen as a must-have, and it becomes very, very popular in pirating circles, isn't that free advertising? Isn't that legitimizing the idea that, hey, this is the industry standard? Now, if you think I'm just totally wrong here, go ahead and say so in comments. If you agree with me, go ahead and say so in comments. If 
If you want to say whatever, go ahead and say so in comments. Leave a comment. Let me know how you think, what you think of my position on this. Do you think I'm way off? Do you think I am right on? Do you think I am right in some places? I'm fucked up in some other places? What is it? What do you think?